Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time and also welcome to another uh, My Creative Time Design Team Thursday. And um, this isn't a challenge today. Basically, what the, this is, is I had asked my designers just to go ahead and come up with a project using the colors, my favorite colors together, by the way, teal, red, and uh, chocolate chip color, like a dark brown color. So anyways, um, I had two questions. I had, I'm going to kind of multitask them in this video. I hope my card calls for a ribbon because somebody asked me, again, how do I tie my bows? So I'm going to go ahead and sh hopefully show you, hopefully this ribbon will call for, for a bow so I could do that. And they wanted to know how they could weld just different shapes together using your gypsy. So obviously I've missed my little gypsy girl. I haven't used her for like about a week or so. So anyways, I had to take her out really quick. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to show you using your gypsy. And whoever owns a chip, gypsy has gypsy wanderings as well as a gypsy font in your gypsy already. So I wanted to use something that I know you could use, okay? All right. First of all, I got this from um, Gypsy Wanderings, which I'm going to go to right now. You know what? Since I'm on the Mother's Day cartridge, you see this flower right here? That's what I did. I, I'm going to go ahead and do three different flowers out of three different uh, pattern papers. So the bigger one, now you could probably um, like get this from somewhere else, okay, a flower, any kind of flower. But I just got a flower. So basically two and a half, two and a quarter, and two inches. That's how I, um, that's basically the closest numbers I could get to if you're just using your regular Cricut, okay? You could use that that size of the three different flowers. So let me find uh, Gypsy Wanderings. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what I did was I'm just going to go ahead and go to, let's see, is it the tag? I think it's this feature right there. There, there we go. I already got this square here. And the square is sized at 3.47, which you could also do 3.50 if you want. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this shape right here. I think this is the shape. Is this the shape I want? Um, no, maybe not. Let me go back, space that. I think this is it right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab that shape right there, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this shape over here. And I want to kind of line it up good so this way I could go ahead and weld. We're going to weld these two shapes together to make a card, okay? So I'm just going to scooch this over just a little, just so it could overlap a little like that, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is, let me just make sure it's lined up perfectly. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and weld these two together. So I'm going to group them together first. I click on my, let's click on the basic tab and click on this group feature. And you're going to click on them both until they turn blue. And then we're going to click on our advance and then click on weld. And if you eyeball it, you can see it is welded together. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this shape. So let me take my eyeball off. Grab this shape right here, and then I'm going to copy it, okay? So I'm going to click on my copy and put it right here, only because I'm going to want to um, layer this on top of that, because if you notice, you see how my fold is? It's taken away from the shape there. So I want to weld that. I want to, um, sorry, layer that on top of that just so it could look nice, okay? And it could fold pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so basically that's it, to be honest with you. So the, on this top one, we're going to cut it out using dark brown paper from Paper Tray Ink. And this one, we're going to be using some pattern paper that I have. 
and these are going to be three different color, color pattern papers that I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and put this card together. Okay, here goes our base right here. Okay, now you kind of have to play with the shapes. I think I used the wrong shape in my video, but this is the shape I use because there are two that are very similar, and I noticed the one in the video was just plain, and this has like a little edge to it. So this is the shape I actually used. Um, and what I do is when you cut them out on your Cricut, sometimes they don't look even, so I keep on like trying to see which is the best fit, flip it around if I lose it, you know, if I take it off my mat wrong, I don't remember how it was on, so I just kind of flip it around, and once I get it perfect, I put a little X like that on both of these sides, so this way I know it's going to go perfectly right there, okay, so now let's see what I want to do. Before I adhere that down, I want to use my stamp here, and I'm going to be using um, my stamp set. Let's see, which one is this one? I'm going to be using one of my newest releases called Small Talk. Okay, and I love this set because I just do. <laughs> so this is these are the stamps right here, and I'm going to use this one here. And I love this one, not because I just do, only because you can make smaller cards, any kind of cards. My design team members have showcased this particular set so many different ways. I'm so, so impressed. Okay, so I think, let's see, I need to use something dark. You know what we're going to try, which I have not, tr I tried before. I forgot on which video and it came out awesome. I'm going to go ahead and try this one here, the Walnut Stain. Let's see how that stats on here. I never actually, to be honest, really used my Distress inks on these um, stamps before, but hey, let's go ahead and try it together right now. So this is how I ink up this particular stamp, only because if I turn it around and face it down, I don't want it to get a whole bunch of ink on the inside. As you can see, I did, you know, on, you know, already. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wipe that off with my finger here. So this is just in case I kind of put pressure down in the center, I don't want that to get get on my paper, okay? So let me make sure this is lined up again correctly so I could stamp it on the correct side. Okay, that is correct right there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this on here like so. You could use a smaller block, but this is the only one I had available right now. Okay, let's just go ahead and just kind of just press down the side. Like I said, this is the first time I'm using Tim Holtz ink with my stamps. I've been using it for, you know, distressing and all that good stuff. But let's see. Oh my god, that came out beautiful. Oh, that came out so perfect. Oh, I'm so excited because you know why? I just ordered all of these uh, colors here. <laughs> because I only had a few, so Nikki was kind of helping me out which ones that I need to have. And I'm so excited. Okay, so now, oh, that looks so pretty. It looks perfect on there. Okay, so now I'm going to use, um, let's see, which sentiment do I'm going to put flowers on here. Why? Let's just do hi there. How about that? Something simple. Something simple to the point. Let's go ahead and throw this on a little. And we're going to go ahead and use the same ink since it's stamped so beautifully. That's what I love about my stamps. I am so blessed that Peachy Keen Stamps is a manufacturer of them because they are the best quality and I'm so happy. Okay, so let me go ahead and this is all of the sentiments that are in this scent stamp perfectly right here on the opening right there okay okay let's get this down perfecto god it's so pretty it's so pretty okay so now I just got some random little flowers here from let's see let me grab my paper here this little stock here from my mind's eyes and that's so pretty I love this one I've used this several times already so this is basically probably just going to go maybe right here off the side something similar to what I did before and I'm thinking I'm not sure if I want it to have a bow or not let me see um, I don't know <laughs> Okay, watch, whoever asks, you could watch me tie this. Um, basically, you could just get just, this is just some ribbon, random ribbon I had on my table here. 
So I just go ahead and just grab just two little um, tails, I guess you could say, and then just wrap it around. Nothing special. I swear I don't do anything special with my bows. Super simple. And then after you, you tie it, you just kind of just play with it. That's the way you get it the way you want. Just kind of mess with it a little. Now this might be too big for this, but we're going to see right now. I'm actually, you know what, I think I might just attach the flowers on the center of this. Let's see. Let me go ahead and just kind of finish messing with this to Todd. That might be too, like, bulky. You know what? Maybe not. I think it's actually kind of cute. So I just showed you how to do shapes together, and I just showed you how to tie an easy bow. It's not that hard, my friends. Trust me. I was horrible at this before. Very, very horrible. And I always just watched my mother do hers. When, oops. I have on my fan extra high in here because it's warm. Very warm day today. My husband said it was like 80 degrees in San Francisco, and that's odd. I wouldn't want to be there right now, only because it's supposed to get hotter, and remember, there's no AC over there. Okay, so now that we did that part, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get this down onto the actual card base right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this on here. And what I did was I went ahead and I did my little inking on the center already. So let's go ahead and get this down, like so. Okay, you know what, actually I have another idea. I actually changed my mind on the flowers. So what I'm going to do, and you'll see it on my finished uh, project, on my finished product I should say. So what you want to do is, look at how pretty that is, a different way to use that stamp. So for those of you who did get it and you're kind of you're a little confused on how you can use it, you can use it this way as well. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use those little, I think they're called facets, and I'm going to put a piece of the actual little, um, it's like a little jewel that hangs from here. I think that'll be cute with that pattern paper. So I got all my colors, red, teal, and chocolate chip. So anyways, everybody, hope you enjoyed this unfinished card today. If you're watching over at YouTube, go ahead and check back on my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to go ahead and see the final picture of what this looks like, okay? Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you back here tomorrow for my Friday's tip of the day, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.